Hey everyone, welcome to the Totally Well Show. I'm your host, Joyce Strong. Totally Well Show is a place where we get curious, ask questions, and explore everything to do with health, wellness, fitness, personal development, helping people, and all the things it takes to help you live a strong, joyous life. My guest today is John Rooney. John Rooney is CEO and founder of DNX Bar. And we get into talking about, oh, DNX Bar and his product and um, how John got into um, creating the DNX Bar and meat bars um, at, around his 50th birthday when he realized he wasn't taking as good care of himself. So it really started out with his own personal journey and then his commitment to transparency and good quality. DNX Bar, our Whole30 approved. And um, for your special treat, I want to let you know that you can go to dnxbar.com and use my special code, TOTALWELLCOACH, and get 15% off your purchase. So I was really, really grateful. I am really grateful to John for sharing his story with me today and sharing about DNX and um, some cool things are happening in their future, including some meat sticks, you know, about the meat, meat bar. So we're getting some of those soon to test out and share with you. So with that said, enjoy my episode today of Totally Well with John Rooney from DNX Bar and dnxbar.com. Enjoy. All right. So welcome, John Rooney. Nice to meet you. I'm excited to um, finally get to know you. I've known you through your products, and um, welcome to the Totally Well Show. Yeah, thank you. Thanks for having me, and I'm glad you're a fan of our products. Absolutely. Um, when I first found out about your products, for, about, well, DNX and DNX bars, it was through my affiliation with Whole30. Um, one of the things I do is, is um, as a certified Whole30 coach, and um, and that's all I knew other than you sent me some samples and I got to taste them. And then since then I've been recommending them um, because I like the taste and I like what's in them. Um, but I started to get curious about getting to know what's behind this company and what, what motivated you to start this company and just a bit about you as the founder and CEO. Yeah, well, that's awesome. And I'll, I'll talk, I guess, a little bit later about Whole30, but because... Uh, Melissa Hartwig has been great for us. She sits on our advisory board and the Whole30 program and the coaching program, which is what now, maybe two years old? Um, maybe, maybe a little bit more than that. I'm not sure exactly. I've been, I've been doing it for uh, about a year and a half. Yeah, but just a great program. We've met a lot of super people and yeah. spread the word. Yeah. But, but look, so DNX D, and, and, you know, daily nutrition is what DNX stands for. Um, and we started, we're in our third year now, mm -hmm. and we started kind of serendipitously. I, I, the, the, my kind of path towards a better health and a different, better lifestyle started probably six to nine months before DNX. And I had turned 50 years old. I had my 50th birthday, and I just, like, maybe that was the, you know, the wake-up call that said, hey, I have not worked out for 30 years. I don't feel very good. I drink way too much. I eat terrible. Mm -hmm. Um, and, uh, you know, and I was a business person all my life. And so I said, I'd like to change it. And I was fortunate because I had some time to do that. So I started on my own yeah. and, you know, diet and exercise change. And I, 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 I'd been an athlete in college. So I, you know, I'm fairly experienced in, in how to work out, although it was hard to get back into it. But what was I, your sport? I played college football. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, and a um, long time ago. Where'd you uh, play? Just curious. What's that? Where did you play? I played at the University of Montana for the Grizzlies, and they're actually in the playoffs this year. They're an FCS team. Oh, is that in um, Bozeman? In Missoula. Oh, and Missoula. <laughs> so you just named my rival. That's right. I knew it was, I knew it was one of those two. <laughs> yeah, but that's okay. Uh, but, but yeah, and I'm from Montana, and so uh, really kind of the genesis of what got me into the bars was a, a couple of things. I went on about a six-month change of diet, and I really relied on just my own research. I relied on manufacturers of products, yeah. um, and, and I got about six months into it, and honestly, I you know, wasn't making a lot of progress, and I still didn't. I maybe feel, felt worse. And this was, if you think about it, this was about seven years ago. So it was about the tail end of the, it was still in a time period where really 
you know, fat was considered the enemy. Right. right. So, so I was doing everything I could. Honestly, I was trying to keep my fat intake down to 10 grams a day, right. which is like so ridiculous that when you think about it today, and um and just and 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 you know so if i had a if i had three bowls of frosted flakes with skim milk for breakfast that was zero fat yeah and you thought you were doing the right thing and i thought i was doing the right thing so so i got really lucky uh, i started working out in, instead of on my own i worked out for a while on my own just because i was so i knew it would take me so long to kind of get to a level that i was uh, that i was respectable but i joined a crossfit gym through a friend yeah. and my Trainer was a nutritionist and a CrossFit and a, and a, and a you know, heavy duty kind of CrossFit coach. So I got really lucky. And I remember, you know, I just said, hey, his name's Mike. He's on our board of advisors. He's on our website. You see him, Mike Lacoste. And I remember one day I said, it's just, you know, the diet's not working. Um, I feel bad. I'm not getting the results I want. And, you know, he, he, said well tell me what you've eaten over the last couple of days and after he stopped laughing <laughs> in jest by the way he said look you know you're doing everything wrong yeah and so uh so i started what basically is a paleo diet and uh and just had immediate results it was so awesome and the biggest thing greatest thing about it was is i was never hungry you yeah know? because i could eat i could eat as much as i needed as long as i was eating the right things what were some of the other things that felt good to you? As far as food? As, yeah, you said you, you started to feel better. How, how other than that you weren't hungry? What other things that? Oh, I, just, just honestly, my, honestly, my energy level. Yeah? You know, and, and, and my energy level, and I had lots of back problems, lower back problems, and those started to get better. Wow. You know, I just really believe. One of the things I did, I got so serious about it that I spent – two weeks at a place called the Optimal Health Institute, OHI. Yeah. All your listeners should know about it. It's the, the headquarters, they have two facilities, one's in San Diego and one's in Austin, Texas. The original's in San Diego. Mm -hmm. And for anybody, people go there for all sorts of reasons. People who are really sick go there. People who have cancer go there. People who want to lose weight go there. People who just want to take a recess go there. Yeah. And what you do is you actually eat raw while you're there. Yeah. And, and so it's, you know, it's vegan times 10. You eat raw. You have chefs that prepare your meals, though, so it's, they make it easy. Yeah. And you juice and you do all sorts of, you know, great eating and great uh, physical things. And then during the day, you learn about food and your body. And it's kind of a mind, body, spirit experience and so you'll have experts in food and exercise that give you you know didactics that you don't have to go to but you i went to every single one and i took notes yeah and i learned so much and what it is really it's a cleanse like they don't even they don't suggest that you eat raw for the rest of your life right yeah but you go through this two-week uh period and you're eating raw and you're juicing for a few days and you're and you're doing wheat grass, grass juice and it's the most incredible detoxification you've ever seen in your life mm -hmm. and there were people there that literally had cancer were told to, the, by their doctors you know you got six months get your affairs in order and they went and they and, and i and, and i was so skeptical when i first went but but they they've been they went there and they've been going there for six years now because yeah. When you eat healthy and you and you and you and you get your body, your pH of your blood above, you know, seven point four, mm -hmm. your body really super powerful and can and can kill a lot of bad nasty toxins. Mm -hmm. Food is medicine for sure. Yeah, it's absolute medicine. Yeah. And, and the people there are very legitimate. You know, they're, they're PhDs. They 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 give information that's based on science and studies, and it's just super good. Well, I'll, I'll add about them in the show notes just so that people can reference it. I would, yeah, I have no affiliation with them, but yeah. I, tell you, I recommend anybody who ever, you know, has an issue, uh, especially if they get sick, to go, go spend some time there. It's not super expensive either. Yeah. But the, here's the issue. So I, I really started to get in. I, I kind of went, you know, very extreme on, on trying to educate myself after my bad experience. Mm -hmm. And, and spent a lot of time studying and spending time around people like Melissa Hartwig and Mike Lacoste and OHI. And when I was presented with the opportunity to make meat bars, actually initially the, there was a couple in Montana 
that approached me and they were making grass-fed bison jerky. Mm-hmm. They were looking for some help. And I just said, you know, I don't really want to get into the jerky business, but I know of this thing called a meat bar where you mix in organic fruits and vegetables. And it's more of, an orga- uh, it's more of a balanced snack. And so we spent a lot of time, probably nine months developing the bars. But the, the, the biggest thing that I wanted to do and the biggest objective in our mission today is we want to make as healthy as snack as possible. And our secondary goal is to give honest and factual information mm-hmm. to consumers. Because when I went through six months of doing all the wrong things, I, I just really, you know, first of all, you get mad, right? You're upset. You, you feel like you're violated. Yeah. And when you're tricked by a manufacturer, you know, who's, who, who, who tries to, you know, put things on their packaging, they're going to lead you to believe something's healthy. You really do feel violated. So I, yeah. I just said that our goal is going to be to not only make super healthy things, but just be totally transparent yeah. and educate people. Well, that certainly comes through in, in your marketing and in your packaging and in your product. It's one of the things that just, you know, hooked me right away. Um, Jerkies are hard to eat. You know, I'm older. My teeth aren't as in great shape and they're hard to eat. They don't feel, you know, satisfying. And what I found with your products is they, they chewed more like <laughs> food and they're super convenient. You know, a lot of times where, you know, I'm a mom, five kids, a grandmother with six grandkids, hockey coach, you know, I'm going everywhere, every direction. And, you know, sometimes I'm just stuck at work doing a lecture or a class. And I, you know, I, I coach nurses and teachers and life is life. So having yeah. an option as a partial, I think of it as a, I try not to use the word snack as much, but more, you know, a partial meal replacement or something, you know, a mini meal um, that gives you real food. It looks processed, but it's really real food in a package. Yeah, it's very minimally processed. Everything that goes in there is whole food. And, you know, what, what I, I just try and call it really a grab-and-go type meal. So it's for in-between. Honestly, if I'm super busy, I, you know, and I eat a lot. So but I, you know, I can eat two or three bars, and that's my lunch. Yeah, yeah. And, and, and again, the, the difference between just straight meat or straight jerky is that, um, you know, because we have the, the organic fruits and vegetables, we're able to beef the macros up. and and on, on some of our bars, you know, we'll have like a third, a third, a third fat, carbs, and protein. Yeah, yeah. Now, additionally, you know, because keto has has become popular, so we've responded to that. And we have a couple of bars that have more just kind of a, you know, a higher fat and protein content and no carbs. Is that like the um, the bacon jalapeno? Yeah, and, and I have to tell you, it's only been out since January of this year, and it's our number one selling bar. It's Actually, it's the fastest growing bar in, in all of natural grocery right now. In the oh, wow. It's awesome. It's so good. I like the- another one you have that it's not, I don't know if you, you I think you could use in keto, is the, the sweet potato, what is it, with pecan? Yeah, sweet potato pecan, which is grass-fed beef, and it only has four net carbs, so it's not a lot, but... Right. You- I'm not a keto person. I know that most of them try and stick to like 20 carbs a day. So you just have to decide if that, how you want to spend your carbs. Right? Yeah, a lot of my keto people could definitely use it because some of some people can be over, you know, net 50. It really depends on the individual. And I personalize all my plans. So um, it's great to have that variety and the, you know, things that appeal to different tastes. Yeah. And look, one thing I would say is, is, so in addition to, you know, we wanted to have healthy food yeah. we, and, 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 and tell people what's in it and be super honest and, 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 you know, educational. But the other thing we just said is, look, it's got to taste good at the end of the day, right? Yeah. You know, we are all human beings and, and, and taste matters. So I will say one thing about that. The, only, the bar that I would brag about is that bacon, beef bacon jalapeno bar because there's so many keto bars out there that the only way they get to the high, the, enough protein and no carbs is they have to put protein supplements, so like soy powder, pea powder, uh, uh, whey protein, mm-hmm. to get to the protein. And then to make it sweet, so, and, but no sugar, they put artificial sweeteners in. Right. Sugar alcohols. So we actually had a doctor who's a big, uh, uh, got a big practice, uh, keto practice, and just said, man, you guys did it. I don't know how you did it, but you got, there, everything's natural yeah and the profile's dead on yeah so yeah, we 
It's a great buy. I've been studying this stuff for a long time. And so this was really the first product that just nailed it for me in, in all those categories, checked all the boxes for me. Yeah, that's awesome. And it tastes great. It tastes great. And it tastes great. Yeah, yeah. yeah. If yeah. I can get my kids to eat it, that's a taste test. I get these things and put them on the counter and see what happens. And when they disappear, I know. Um, and the, the bacon jalapeno definitely <laughs> disappeared from my counter. Yeah, it's funny you say that because everybody always asks me, you know, who's your target market? Who's your target market? And, you know, honestly, our target market is anybody who wants to eat healthy mm -hmm. and, and, and leads an active lifestyle. And it can be kids. It can be, you know, people that I, I have. I have a, I, so I'll admit I play a, once a month, I play poker with a group of people. And most of these guys are 60s and 70s. And they're always screaming at me to bring bars. There. Yeah, yeah. It's just, it, it really cuts across, you know, a wide range of people. And I think if you can make it taste good, our whole theory is we can bring people into the I want to eat healthy fold, you know? Mm -hmm. I'm thinking of, of using it definitely with kids. Like I, I think I mentioned when we were chatting earlier about uh, my grandkids and how it's really hard to find a good snack to put in there, you know, for their school snacks. They're, you know, kindergarten, small kids. And then I work sometimes, oftentimes with seniors and they're another population of what's for breakfast. And they're used to having cereals or some pastry kind of thing. And I'm like, it's, you know, whole 30 style, it's just meal one. <laughs> so, right, right, right. so I'm convincing them to try these things now. And it's, uh, it takes a little bit of education, a little bit of getting used to. Um, but to me, it's much, it's much more the sense of feeling that I'm eating whole food rather than uh, one of those bars that are quote granola bar or um, whatever they, the different names that they give them. Um, like you say, ha and they have unknown protein source because you don't even, even if they tell you it's pea or soy or where they, you don't even know if it's GMO or where it's from or if it's clean. And, um, right. and then the sugar alcohols are killers because that disrupts your gut biome and, you know, does things, unpleasant things that, um, that right. you just don't run into that problem with your bars. Yeah, absolutely. So I, I agree with you. And, and, you know, you mentioned senior citizens, you know, I think over 60, I think it's recommended that you, it's, you know, 40, you're depending on body weight, but 40 plus grams of protein. And a lot of senior people have a hard time eating enough protein. That's right. Yeah. It's hard so, to put in and it's hard, you know, taste and also chewing and other, other things plus preparation budget. Yeah. You know, so to be able to make something available, affordable, um, is a big, is a big uh, thing. It's a big piece of the personalizing the plan. You know, ideally it would be all whole food and, you know, gourmet prepared, but that's not life. And I like to meet people where they are and this really helps bridge the gap for me. Yeah, I agree. Thank yeah. you. It really does. So, um, yeah, uh, you, I got introduced to you through Whole30, and I, I wondered if you wanted to talk a little bit about what that means to be Whole30 approved. Not, it's a pretty high standard. Yeah, it really is. And, and um, you know, I met Melissa Hartwig, the co-founder, before we even had our bars. We, we just had prototype bars. I met her at a paleo show in Austin, Texas. Mm -hmm. And she loved our bars, but at that point in time, we had like three grams of honey in them. So we had sugar in them. Yeah. And I didn't know what Whole30 was, honestly. Uh, this was, you know, this was six years ago. Uh, but she continued to talk about our bars. And she, I said, well, I had just you know, I learned about Whole30. I said, I'm so sad that we put three grams of honey in our bars. And she said, it's okay. You know, you, Whole30 is for 30 days. And that's what you, you know, you can eat this for 335 days yeah. out of the year. But, you know, as you know, uh, Whole30 is really kind of very, very strict paleo, goes beyond paleo. Yeah. And, and basically, you know, in a nutshell, like cut out all processed foods, cut out dairy, uh, you know, definitely alcohol. And, and, and it really is, uh, you know, a, a reintroduction program that, that, again, you know, she's got some great stories of people, with lots of problems, physical and, and, um, uh, and other type problems that, that have just proven that, that if you can find, you know, find out what foods are, are causing it, it the, the problems go away. And I rem you know, again, when I, I was so skeptical when I first started both at OHI and with Whole30, and I've just seen too many real life people and real life stories that, 
the skepticism is gone. I'm a total believer. And so much so that I think after about a year, Melissa was involved with this for about a year. And we just committed to change our, take the honey out of our bars, um, replace a little bit of sweetness with some dates, mm -hmm. right? with some natural sugar that occurs in medjool dates. And we became Whole Foods certified. And it is a really high bar. And so, you know, today our, our products now can be used for Whole30 for the 30 days, as well as, you know, her food freedom forever after. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And, and um, it's, yeah, to me, I, look, really, I, there's no doubt. And, you know, Melissa, as you know, she'll, she'll admit that the 30, not, the Whole30 is not easy. Mm -hmm. But you're trying to, you go in there with an intention. You go in there with a goal and you're trying to accomplish something. Um, uh, but 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 then you know if you take away some of the real stringent things about Whole30, it really is just like let's eat whole food, let's use our common sense, and let's not, you know, pollute our bodies with all this stuff that's really come about because industry is trying to cut prices and make more profit. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And just just to be clear, I think Melissa would also say that Whole30 is not hard. And she has her famous line about, you know. Well, right, right, <laughs> right, 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 right. No, she said. Drinking black coffee is not hard. <laughs> yeah, if you think if you think Whole30 is hard, here, let me tell you a story. That's right. Yeah. yeah, yeah. A lot of people think it's hard, though. And I see, you know, I mean, I see all of the, uh, you know, the comments on her site. And I've had friends who've gone through it. So, you know, everybody's a little bit different. I know I just had my last friend whose daughter was going to get married, and he said the first five days were murder, and it was all smooth sailing from there. So, you know, and he said it was worth it. And I don't know many people who, at the end of the day, don't say that it's worth it. Yeah, I mean, when you hear hear things like what you've talked about, having more energy, feeling, you know, um, just feeling better, better mental clarity, all those things to be able to eat this way is, you know, it's just such a it's so worth it. It's just so worth it. Yeah, totally. And, and, uh, People and, don't, and, don't realize, as a nurse, you know, I deal with a lot of medical conditions, and they don't realize that they, um, they don't come to me because they have food sensitivities or that they have gut issues. They don't. They may may or may not have a diagnosis, but we start to uncover some of those things and help people connect with them when they realize that they stop putting in the toxic food, and they give their body the healing nutrients that they need. So for me, um, what, one of the meetings I had recently was with a professional um, hockey, women's hockey team, the Boston Pride. And yeah. um, I had a player come in and say, she's vegan. And I was like, um, have you always been vegan? She was, well, occasionally I'll eat some fish. And my father's an elk hunter. And I was like, well, get them to send you some dried, you know, dehydrated elk, <laughs> you know, something yeah. that and so then she showed me she got a care package with with um, that sort of food in it. So I was really happy to see that, you know, someone like her where she's young and she's a professional athlete, there's a lot of demand on the body, a lot of things breaking down that you have to repair. So um, so being able to see foods like DNX bar, you know, in the hockey bag, you know, at the uh, um, helping athletes in particular, but people who need to really understand that their body's made of protein Everything that's alive is protein, and that we need a good quality protein. I was just with a regenerative doctor uh, here. I'm in Tucson, Arizona, in Tucson. So he's kind of like an anti aging regenerative doctor and deals with a lot of weight loss. And by the way, he carries my bars, probably sells like 200 bars a month. It's amazing. Yeah. Um, and he's, you know, his, go his deal, you know, he's not this, he's not, you know, prescription medicine and that kind of stuff. I mean, he's into all sorts of you know, more holistic type. More like my line, functional medicine, I think. Functional medicine, right. Yeah. And um, yeah, we talked, so first of all, you know, he loved the bars and, he, and he, his patients loved the bars, but he, uh, he talked to me also about, you know, you know, there's a, pretty, there's a large movement to eat vegan right now. And I, I try not to be judgmental and everybody can do what they want to do. But, but I just, I have, he was telling me stories about patients of his that have come in and just really, really sick after being vegan, eating vegan for you know six months, and and he was going through the some of the tests, and I can't, re I don't remember you know all the tests that he can do, and he was telling me about a patient who he basically got off of being a vegan for about a month, and the <laughs> not only 
I mean, it was obvious to the patient that he felt better, but then he was telling me about some of the, you know, the ranges of the tests and how they came back in line. So, you know, I, I guess you just have to find a balance somehow. Like I said, I don't try and be judgmental. I just know that we all have been carnivores for 2 million years and there's probably a reason for that. Yeah. Yeah. I see. There's a lot out there that these days too with, veganism and i think I'm, I'm about personalizing a plan for people and you know i know there's a lot of issues cultural and whatnot so i i try to to personalize plans but i think um some of the popular stuff we see out there is really one-sided and so i i try to bring people back to center and and you know often people go from junk food to vegan and they feel better so they don't realize there's something in the middle yeah, yeah. yeah exactly <laughs> and and again the only part i don't like about some of the some of that hardcore veganism is is just there's some mis, there isn't a lot of misinformation out there you know right. and i think you just I get people you know the hardest part is it I had time to spend weeks and months and weeks two weeks at a retreat but most people you know you have a job you have a family you don't have time to like say okay i'm going to research before i eat right right yeah there's a lot of nutrition in general there's a lot of confusing information um i teach a lot about it and um classes not you know beyond whole 30 and i i see that when i go to teach that people need some clarification it's not it's not this is right and that is wrong They're, it's complicated i always say it's complicated it is complicated yeah yeah because there's just a lot to know um, we, we only have a couple minutes left and i just want to make sure john that people know how to reach you and if there's anything else that you wanted to talk about today before we wrap up uh listen uh, i would say that you know uh, as far as uh as far as some of the educational aspects we've tried to do a good job on our website so you know for example i think in six different bars that we have there's probably a total of about 20 ingredients you know because they're chicken and bison they're beef and vegetables but it's a great site it's a great resource to go we go in and we talk about all the ingredients and where they're from and what the benefits are and and and, and you know give information on the site and then say you know our bars are you know we're growing we're in probably a thousand stores in the country um it's i think if 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 you know you're looking for something that's healthy and supernatural it's 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 it's, it's worth giving them a try we're on amazon mm -hmm. um and um and um, you know we're we're just look we're having a lot of fun we're committed to continuing to go out and grow and you know spread the word so well i have my special total well coach code i'm going to offer and offer in the show notes um so people can definitely purchase uh, online and use that code to get a discount so yeah and i think to do that i think that you can go on and probably probably for the most economic uh uh price they go just on our site i think and use your code right Right, yeah, I think um, I think dnxbar.com for fifteen percent off, so that'll be a nice treat for people. Yeah, so that's at dnxbar.com, and not only can they get the discount, but again, it's there's some educational information on there that I think people find real helpful. Yeah, once they go through your site and read that stuff, they'll start to understand more about the map and what's behind it. And that's really, why I wanted to have you on today because I. I read your story and I knew that there was an important story behind it, a lot of thought, a lot of science and uh, collaboration with Whole30. So I so appreciate you taking the time with me today. Yeah, well, thanks for having me and thanks for all the work that you're doing too. Uh, you're yeah. welcome, you're welcome. Yeah. Okay. All right, thanks, John. Yep. Take, Take care. care.